what's up everybody winter is coming and i've got another video for you this one's going to be a mix of strength and flexibility work and all you need is a mat to do it so we all need to stretch right and we all need to maintain our strength even though the weather's getting cooler here i'm sure it's cold in most of the northern hemisphere by now uh, considering it's november and that's about it guys let's get right into it and if you're not familiar with who i am my name is Antranik, and i make health and fitness videos all the time so if you're not subscribed please do so now and yeah let's begin on hands and knees we're gonna start with a little bit of a wrist stretch so put your palms up with your fingers facing each other and just start curling the fingers here i'll show you from the front just like so and this is a nice little wrist stretch just do this like uh, five to ten times opening the fingers up all the way and then closing them up into a fist and just breathe good next we're gonna do palm pulses in a you're gonna put your palms flat on the floor and you're gonna raise only the palms up while you leave the fingers on the floor so just like so the more you put your shoulders over your wrists the harder it gets so just raise it up while keeping the fingers down and then bring them down slowly raise it up and bring them down slowly do this again five to ten times it's nice to work on our fingers and our wrists once in a while and i have a video that is a progression on all this for specifically these two wrist exercises which i could put links to in the description afterwards if you want to know how to make them more difficult and more intense okay now let's just warm up our spine by doing a cat cow so uh, stick your butt out and look up arching your back exhale round your back tuck your tailbone rounding that back inhale as you switch the position sticking your bum out looking up exhale round your back inhale as you reverse and exhale round your back one more time stick your butt out look up now hold this position and then tuck your toes and raise your knees up and go all the way into downward facing dog all right this is our first downward dog drive the heels down into the ground you could pedal the feet bending one knee straightening the other you could try swiveling the feet so you go on the sides of your feet this is a nice little way to just move the body and now raise your left leg up drop the right heel down good bring it down switch sides raising the right uh, leg up and then dropping the left heel down bring that down bring the right foot down again raise the left leg up drop the right heel down good bring the left knee in toward your nose put the shoulders over the wrists and then replace your left hand with your left foot now we're in a lunge awesome raise the arms up into our crescent lunge high lunge position good bring the hands down and step the left foot back into plank position hang out here for a moment when we're in plank position we're gonna do push-ups after but when we're in plank or doing push-ups you want to push through the shoulders so that you're not sinking into the shoulders but you're pushing the floor away from you so the upper back even gets rounded a little bit okay now 
Going to downward facing dog. We're lifting those hips up into the air. Raise the right leg up. Drop the left heel down. Bring the right knee in toward your nose. Bring it in closer and then put your shoulders over your wrists. Step the right foot forward, replacing your right hand. And raise the arms up into a crescent lunge. Relax the shoulders. It's like you're holding a big beach ball. Good. Drop the hands down. Step the foot back into plank. Now I want you to lean the shoulders forward ahead of the fingers. Remember to push through the shoulders strong and lower down slowly. And now upward facing dog. Only the you straighten the arms and only the tops of the feet touch as you look up and then downward facing dog. Transition there. Excellent. Now Let's raise the left leg up, step the left foot forward, and I want you to put the back heel down and sink your hips down and raise the right toes up into your first side lunge or Cossack squat. And I know you can't see me like this, but you're gonna just transition to the other side. You can keep your hands on the floor. Good. And I'm gonna actually switch positions. You could just re remain where you are. Good. Let's transition over. Let's all meet to the left side if we're not already. Good. Now, I want you to go back into a lunge by just turning your back knee down. So your foot straight. <sighs> Raise the back knee off the ground by straightening the back leg and then bring it down straighten the front leg front knee and bow down over it for a moment and then bend the front knee raise the back knee up move over to the other side squatting on the right side this time raising the left toes up the planted foot could be the heel could be elevated now we're gonna bring the left toes down to the ground and go into a lunge by bringing that knee down and then from here straighten the back knee the back foot leg is straight and lifted and then bring it down and then uh, straighten the front leg excellent now we just gotta bend the front knee forward and raise the back heel up raise the arms up now the longer you make your stance we're gonna do 10 split squats the longer you make your stance the harder it gets but in the split squat you're basically gonna do a lunge where you Push the front knee forward as far as it'll go. I'm just gonna adjust my stance here. And you can keep your arms up with the shoulders relaxed or down by your side. So let's do 10 of them. Straighten the front knee and bend it all the way. Straighten the front knee and then bend it. There's a myth that says that you're not allowed to you shouldn't put your knee ahead of your toes when you squat, but that's complete BS. And I want you to focus on doing that as much as possible. Okay, I'm at four. We've got five more here to go. Four. Three. Two and one. Good. Bend the front knee, put your hands down. Step the foot back into plank. <sighs> Good. Now that we're in plank, let's um, 
let's actually just switch sides by going into downward facing dog raising the left leg up and bringing it forward into a lunge position and raising the arms up again how long you make your stance is up to you the longer it is the harder it is but from here let's do 10 split squats by bringing the the knee forward and then straightening it that's one two by the way if you have weights at home dumbbells or any sort of weights holding them down here or even a backpack any sort of uh, anything with a lot of weight if you're just grabbing it while you're doing these split squats it makes for a terrific leg exercise with a little bit of weight since you're doing one leg at a time a little bit of weight goes a lot a long way so again push that knee forward and straightening it push it as far as it'll go this is a nice stretch also for the back leg hip flexors just three more here all right excellent now bend the front knee put the hands down step the foot back into plank and hang out in plank here for a moment and lower down all the way slowly and then upward facing dog straightening the arms looking up only the tops of the feet are touching the ground and your hands and then go into downward facing dog good let's take a moment here to set up for our next move our next move i will explain for a moment we're gonna basically do push-ups and if push-ups are easy for you you're gonna turn the hands out a little bit when you plant your hands so the thumb is facing forward or the index finger is facing forward not straight like this but just a little bit out okay why because <laughs> you're gonna want to lean your shoulders as far ahead as you can manage for your level okay so if push-ups are easy for you this is gonna make them a lot harder okay and we're gonna do 10 of those and if push-ups are impossible for you you could either just focus on the negative where you just go down as slowly as possible and then put your knees down and push yourself up and just do the negatives or you can elevate your hands on something like uh, a coffee table next to you or something like that incline make it a little incline and it'll be easy okay so let's set up into plank and remember to turn the hands out so the thumbs are facing forward spread your fingers and make the thumbs face forward okay now we're in plank remember don't sink into the shoulders push through the shoulders so your whole body is moving away from the floor and then lean your shoulders forward if you're advanced and again reinforce the scapular protraction where you're pushing the shoulders and now let's do 10 of these so here's one to push at the end and straighten the arms three four see if you can lean forward more if this is easy for you five six seven eight nine and ten good let's uh, get on our knees get down on our knees untuck your toes put your knees wide apart and your feet together for child's pose and just sit on your heels reach your hands forward 
and put your forehead on the floor and just breathe. Just catch your breath. Now while you're here catching your breath, walk your hands to the right and look under your left armpit. Deep breaths. Try to relax your butt, your glutes to sink toward your heels. Walk your hands to the center and then to the left. Look under your right armpit. Nice. Put the hands to the center. And let's get on hands and knees. And actually, let's uh, just get on our knees and come upright. We're gonna set up for camel pose and we're gonna do these camel pose sweeps, which are just awesome. And you're gonna see why they're awesome. And first, we'll begin with our toes tucked under. Raise your arms up. We're just gonna do basic camel pose right now. Put your left hand on your left heel and reach your right arm back behind you as much as it'll go. And then raise the left arm up. Switch sides, put the right hand on the right heel. Reach back with your left hand. Looking up at your left hand. And then switch sides. All right, so left hand on your left heel. Right hand reaching back looking up at your hand and bring the right hand down on your right heel now we're in our camel pose position and from here you're gonna raise the right arm up and reach over to the left side brushing the floor and you're gonna sweep it to the right and your left hand is going to be following your right hand until your right hand goes on your right heel and your left hand comes up as you look at it and comes down on your left heel. Good. Now, the other way. Raise your left arm up, reaching it over to the right side as it goes on the floor and starts sweeping to the left and your right hand goes following along and then your left hand goes, your left hand goes on your left heel and then your right arm, right hand goes on your right heel. Left hand up, reach over to the right, sweep it around, and your left hand goes on your left heel, and then your right hand goes on your right. Let's do it one more time the other way. So right hand up, sweeping over to the left side, and these camel pose sweeps are great. Next time you do them, try to focus on looking at your hand that's moving the whole time. Good. Let's raise both arms up. <sighs> Let's do a little hip stretch. Classic lunge stretch that you know I do all the time. Bringing the left foot forward. I want you to put the right hand down Raise your left hand up, kick the back foot up, grab it with your left hand. And if you can't grab it, you can maybe tie a shirt or a strap around your foot and then just grab that. Now bend the left knee forward, bringing the hips forward, bringing the front of the right hip forward and down. And here you have the option of bringing the and the foot in closer to your butt. And you can look back at your foot. Can you see it? It's a nice stretch. Remember to bring the right hip forward and down. Good. Release the hand, but keep the foot up for five, four, three, two, one, and then lower it down slowly. If you felt some cramps there, that's normal. Let's straighten the front knee for a nice little hamstring stretch and then switch sides. Just come upright, 
Switch sides, bringing the right foot forward. Good. Now, left hand down, right arm up. Kick the back foot up. Reach with your right hand and grab your foot or strap. Good. Now, look back at your foot. You could see your foot. Hopefully you can one day if you can't now. But basically, try to push the right knee forward and your left, the front of your left hip forward and down to the floor. From here, you can also pull your foot in toward your butt. You can even kick the foot away for a couple seconds and then use your biceps to pull it back in. Main thing here is try to bend the right knee forward and try to bring that left hip forward and down. Okay. Now, release the foot, but keep the foot up in the air for five, four, three, two, one, and then lower it down slowly. Now, straighten the front knee for a nice little hamstring stretch. Okay, and then bend the front knee. And actually, let's sit on our butt and put our hands behind us with our fingers facing backwards and raise up into our reverse tabletop position. I'm just going to move back an inch. Reverse tabletop, lift your hips up and then from here, drive the shoulder blades back together. Try to raise your hips up even more and straighten one foot and then the other foot. Try to drive the feet, point your feet so your feet are, your toes are trying to touch the ground. And from here, try to raise your hips up even more. Squeeze the glutes. Pinch the shoulder blades back together to push your chest up. In this position, do whatever you want with your head. You could be looking forward, you could be looking up. Some people could look behind them. Everyone's anatomy is a little different. Now, while you hold this position, I want you to raise the feet up and keep the chest up and the shoulders back together. Keep the chest up as you draw, slowly lower your butt down. So keep the chest up as you lower your butt down. Keep the chest up and proud as you lower your butt down. Feel how good your posture is right here, how stacked your spine is, and then slowly release your hands. And understand that that position is an awesome position <laughs> because it makes your spine stack in a way that normally we are slouched when we sit like this. But if you keep your chest up and proud, it's just mondo good. <laughs> mondo good. I don't think I've said that before. Now let's sit or lay on our back. Put your arms out to the side, raise your knees up and feet up and just bring your right, uh, your knees to the right. As you look over your left hand to your left hand, put your right hand over your right, uh, your left thigh there. <sighs> Breathe. Nice little supine twist to end the session here. And then raise the knees up. Bring them over to the left side. Look over your right shoulder. Put your left hand on your right thigh to help accentuate the twist. Deep breaths. And then let's raise those knees up. And let's just... Uh, Cross our feet, grab our feet, and just rock a little bit on our back. Until we are in a seated position. Uh-huh. All right. Now, that concludes this video. And if you enjoyed that little session, 
I have a work from home fitness program that is full of videos similar to this that are either pure flexibility work or pure strength training or a mix of flexibility and strength work in one video and there's like 10 videos and I've gotten a really good response from the people who have done the work from home fitness program. It's basically good if you want videos that are 10 to 20 minutes long, you need to take a break from your, you know, your computer or whatever, and you want to just get some movement in, you could just follow along those videos. And a lot of them are fairly short, like between eight to 15 minutes long each. And if you want to get more out of it, you just have to do it one more time. So it's fairly efficient is what I'm trying to say here. And the link to that is in the description of this video. And I'm going to put them in all my videos soon since the program just came out a few weeks ago. And I hope you enjoyed this little session. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of this. What was your experience? Do you feel better? Which part of this video did you like? What was your favorite? Which one did you not like? If you have any questions about any exercise, please let me know. And I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and see you in the next video.